in this video, I'm going to take a look at the top five Judases. And when I say Judases, I'm talking about players that came to Arsenal, we made them, and then they ran off. Ran off for the money. Yeah, you know who you are. So let's take a look at the top five Judases that played for Arsenal. And number five, Emmanuel Adibayor. Yeah, you know who you are, mate. Came to Arsenal. I didn't even know who you were when you came out. You came to Arsenal. You had a great season, one great season. Did really well. Scored loads of goals. Fans started singing your name, Adibayor, Adibayor. Then what happened? Went to your head. Thought you were too big, and then you went running off to Man City for the Wonga. Even had the cheek to come sliding in front of the Arsenal fans at Man City. You were lucky that day, mate. But you know what? You went, and where are you now? Sitting in the reserves at Tottenham. Judas, mate. Adi Bayor, number five. And number four, not a player this time, a manager, George Graham. I used to love the guy. Got us the double at Arsenal put together a brilliant team with Ian Wright and Tony Adams and players like that. But you went and ruined it all. You meant and messed it all up. What did you do? You committed the ultimate sin. You went and managed Tottenham Hotspur. What were you thinking of? You are a Judas. You went there for the money. You took a load of our money and then you went there for the money. Judas number four, George Graham. At number three, the mere mention of this name gets me mad. Sami Nasri. <laughs> Listen, you was there. Just like Adi Bayor, Wenger took you from Marseille, all right, you was at a decent club, bought you here, made you into who you were, made you into an awesome player. Cesc Fabregas went and you had your chance to step into that role, to be a creative player. But what did you do? Yeah, you went for the money. Manchester City again. Yeah, they got a little bit of money. So you went running off to City. And what's happened to you there? All right, you've been all right. Yeah, you won a title. But how much did you have to do with it? Judas number three, Sami Nasri. Judas number two, Robin Van Persie. How long was you at Arsenal? Sitting on the bench, injured all the time. Yeah, you was a great player. You come off, you score a few goals, and then it'd be oh, 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 injured again. Back on the treatment table. But what did Arsene Wenger do? What did the fans do? We stuck by you. We stuck by you when fans from other clubs were saying, ah, he's rubbish, he's a waste of money, he's always injured, injury prone, Robin Van Persie, get rid of him. We said, no, nah, he's a great player. We stuck by you. We sung your name. I've even got a framed picture of you at my house where when you scored those two goals at Chelsea and you threw your top into the crowd. I've got that framed at my house. Well, I did have it. I chucked it out yesterday. Mate, you're a Judas. You went to Man United because you wanted to win things. Why didn't you win things at Arsenal? Why didn't you win the Carling Cup when you was in that game? Why didn't you do that, eh? Nah, I know why you really went. You went for this, mate. You went for the money. Judas number two, Robin Van Persie. Number one, Judas. Yeah, I took time over this. There's been quite a few Judases that have been at this club for over the years. But the number one Judas of all time at this great football club, Arsenal, has got to go to Cashley, because that's what we renamed him, Cashley Cole. We brought him up. We brought him up here at Arsenal from the youth ranks made him into an England international, made him into the player he is today still. And just when he was getting there, what did he do? Yet again, money. According to him, he nearly crashed his car when he heard what Arsenal were going to offer him. And that was about 60, 70 grand a week. But you know why he nearly crashed his car? Because he wanted the money, the money at Chelsea. And he wanted to go and hang out with that bloody John Terry and all those monks. Well, you know what, mate? Yeah, you've gone over there and you've won a few trophies. But what your legacy is going to be is that you are a Judas. Judas! Judas! Ashley Cole, 
you're a good player. Don't get me wrong. You are a very, very good player. But remember the club that made you, Arsenal. Judas!